Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. We've just gotten back from Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event and got to check out the cool new foldable smartphones. Let me tell you all about them in our hands-on video. The headliners of the Galaxy Unpacked event are Samsung's new foldable devices, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Galaxy Z Flip 3. Let's start off with the bigger one, the Z Fold 3. When it's folded, it operates like a normal phone, and you're interacting with what's called the cover screen. It's a 6.2 inch AMOLED with a 1080p resolution and 120Hz refresh rate. But when you unfold the device, you reveal the inner display, which is the size of a small tablet. It's a 7.6 inch AMOLED, again with a fast 120Hz refresh rate for extra smoothness. The media experience is top-notch here, thanks to not only the large display, but stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos support. One thing you'll notice is the lack of a cutout on the inner display. That's because this screen features a 4 megapixel under display selfie cam. Unfortunately, you don't have the same tech on the cover screen, where there's a cutout for the 10 megapixel front camera. Another new feature you get here is S Pen support. You can either use the S Pen Pro, which also works on other Samsung devices, or the S Pen Fold, which is made specifically for the Z Fold 3. The phone runs on a 4400mAh battery and has a Snapdragon 888 chipset which provides flagship grade performance as well as 5G connectivity. Everything runs super smooth and Samsung says that they've streamlined the UI even further this time around to take better advantage of the big screen. And on the back is a triple camera setup that looks quite similar to last year's, with a main, ultra-wide, and telephoto camera with 2x zoom, all at 12 megapixels. Now let's move on to the Z Flip 3. Instead of trying to expand a smartphone screen to a tablet size, this one aims to fold the screen down into a compact clamshell design. Samsung is offering a wide variety of color options here, as the Flip is aimed more at young people who might want something flashy. You have an AMOLED cover screen on the back to use while the phone is folded. It's much larger than last year's model at 1.9 inches, and it has Gorilla Glass protection. But even better is that it offers more functionality now, with support for widgets, notifications, and interaction with more apps. You can also use the rear cameras to take selfies while the phone is closed. There's a main cam and an ultra wide, both at 12 megapixels. Open up the phone and you have a 6.7 inch AMOLED display with a 1080p resolution, just like last year's model. But the 120Hz refresh rate is something new here. Samsung didn't bring their under display selfie tech to this phone, so you have a hole punch cutout for the 10 megapixel selfie cam. But you get stereo speakers and Dolby Atmos support to round out the media experience. The Z Flip 3 is powered by a 3300 mAh battery, and just like the Fold, features a blazing fast Snapdragon 888 chipset. Samsung has made some improvements to the Z Flip's UI to take further advantage of the folding mechanic. If you partially fold the phone, like to set it on the table, the interface will shift placing the app on the top half and leaving the bottom half for things like media controls. Now, in the previous generations of Galaxy Foldables, durability was a big concern. It actually wasn't all that bad, but still, this year Samsung has taken extra steps to make the phones even tougher and more reliable. They both have an IPX8 rating, meaning that they're protected against water, which is great, though there's still no official protection against dust. The cover screens and back panels now have Gorilla Glass Victus protection, and on the inner screens, there's a new protective film that should be even more resistant to scratches. And finally, the phone's metal frames and hinges are now made of something called armor aluminum, which is supposed to be both tougher and more lightweight. So there you have it guys. Samsung's new foldables are looking more and more refined with each generation. And better yet, this year they also come with lower prices. The Z Fold 3 starts at 1800 euros, and the Z Flip 3 at just over 1000. Still, these aren't exactly cheap, and it's going to be a while before this kind of tech goes mainstream, but they're definitely steps in the right direction. Let us know what you guys think, and I'll see you on the next one.